Hello everyone and welcome back to Infraspace. Uh, last episode we were working on upgrading these to level 5, which we completed good meals delivery to them. We just need to get the home robots and culture done. Culture is easy, we'll do that last, it's just a stadium. Home robots are a little bit more involved. But in between episodes I just real quickly drew out a grid for where the city's going to go. But it's probably likely to change because we haven't done stadiums or schools yet. So, but anyways, at least we have something to work with. So, home robots require circuits, motors, neural processors, and aluminum. So all those we are producing already, so it'll just involve expanding those industries just a little bit. Because we're making neural processors here, we're making motors here, circuits here and aluminum is already located up here. So I think we'll just drop in another train station right here on this loop, build a home robot factory here and we can have all the materials delivered to here. So let's see what that looks like. So first up is adding some more circuit factories to this layout. Five should do it. And we'll move over to the neural processor area and start laying down some roads for the expansion. We'll put highways on the ends here, one directional, and we'll change these roads here to one way going down towards the bottom of the screen and these going towards the top of the screen. I'm sorry, those are actually going to the bottom of the screen as well. And then some highway on the other side to connect it up back to this train station. We'll need to upgrade these roads as well. I skipped those little sections because I'm going to come back and delete them because I don't like small road segments like that. So just make sure it's one whole segment. Same there. That way if I ever upgrade the road in the future, it'll just be one click. And put down some carbon processors as well as some nanotube factories followed by neural processor factories basically matching the layout to the side over here. And then we'll lay out some room for some future expansion just so I can lay in the uh, recycling centers to take advantage of that 20% savings on materials. So that way I max out the coverage of these things. And then I'll hook up power, make sure everything's connected in its radius. It's pretty close up there on the top. We have a little dead spot, but it should be fine. Expand the district a little bit. Check how much sand I need. Add a couple more sand mines to make up the difference of what I'm missing. And then just adjust the flow of traffic here so that the things flow smoothly. Up to the motor factory. I'm going to add five new motor factories as well as move these other ones down so we can make some more room for some new steel factories. This should be all we really have to do here. And then over here we'll delete a section of track. Put down a train station, make sure it's lined up with the existing track. And then check to make sure that the uh, trains can go through still, which they are. And we'll just start a layout up here for the home robots. Uh, just throw a road up here, I guess. Put down five home robot factories. And then stretch out an output from the station. Just straight out, reconnect this road up. And then upgrade these to one way roads and connect these to the output or to the input of the station I should say so that's the wrong spot that's better and then I don't like to put more than five home robot factories on a thing at once because they use so much materials and they output like ten at a time so I usually just do five per road and the ever important recycling center to save that materials put power in and I'll stretch these roads out a little bit so that power fits in there nicely. 
I usually put power up with the recycling center just to keep it easy. Find the nearest power, drag it straight up, and hook it up to the transformer. And that should be home robots. All I have to do is add that station to the line in the correct order, so that should be good there. And then make sure everything's powered down here. And we Okay, so that's home robots being delivered. All that's left now is culture. Culture is provided by a stadium. Stadium is massive in size. Looks like a whole two city blocks and then some. And you can see the range on it's pretty huge though. So I think what I'll do is I'll just move some houses around and just place them so that it covers something like that. So I'll move those houses, play, place them down, and then we'll uh, see what an upgraded habitat level five looks like. And we have a couple level five habitats now, looking like many skyscrapers here. Looking pretty good. Uh, now there are different requirements, so you can see this one the survival food is 0.2. On level 4 it was 0.8, so survival food has gone down for habitat level 5, but I'm guessing good meals is going to go up as we increase the population as people move in. So, and it's the same for like computers and home appliances are 0.2. Home appliances are 0.3 on level 4, so as you scale up, some of the lower tier items require less of it but the higher tier items are going to require more. So it's just something to keep in mind. Okay, so three stadiums covered the whole area. You can see. So not too bad. Now one thing to note is you can delete some of these survival food ones because the requirements did drop. However, if you get in a downward spiral and habitats start downgrading, you're going to have to put them back in because demand will go back up. So something to be mindful of. The other thing I haven't talked about really is this production overview. If you click on it, it tells you, gives you a rough idea at least of how many circuits you're producing. So it's 300 here. And we need 305. So we're right on the border there. But something this does not take into account, I don't believe, is the recycling centers. So these numbers aren't completely accurate because this is affecting all these buildings here, but I've done some test cases and it doesn't appear to change the numbers in the production overview. So the recycling centers, so it might be saying you need 305 copper to produce these. Well, let's do copper here, 206. Even though it says we're consuming 209, we're actually not consuming 209. We're actually consuming probably 20% less than that because of the recycling centers but something to keep, keep in mind. What I'm gonna do now is just go through and, cause next up we're gonna do VR edutainment, but we're gonna need some people to work with for to do that production line. So I'm going to just fill out the rest of the city block here. To the left down here, I'll fill these in and probably expand our industry a little bit to cover the the added requirements of the new new houses that we're putting in. Okay, here's the town all filled in. Ended up with about 1,500 free workers for a total of 3,532 workers right now. Some of them are still upgrading, so we can tell by click on here. It says 4.98, so that means there's a couple that are not left that are five yet, but. And real quick on the production overview, there's this districts button on the top left here. If you uncheck it, that's the whole world. So that's what's being supplied to the whole world. If you just click the districts button and then you click on a district, it's just this district what's in here. So it's handy for like oxygen producers because they're located everywhere. So if you want to know just this district, do I have enough oxygen? You can look in here and see it. I'm using 210, I'm supplying 375. So more than enough. Let's zoom in and take a look. 
These are all level fives. I've added in schools. We unlocked them while I was working on it, so I threw them in the layout so I don't have to redo it again. Because this is complete now, there's no new buildings to unlock. That'll affect the upgrading of the habitats. So the schools, you can see I have them every two blocks. Fills in nicely. Now, because I had to push two buildings up up here, the park has to be right below it so that the tip of the circle hits the block. Anyways, and then I just lined up all my oxygen producers and occasionally threw in a soil enrichment facility which doubles the production of these food facilities and then two waters. So water and food and then the rest of it's oxygen. And I just repeated that every near every stadium actually. And it seems to be supplying more than enough. So the last thing we can do is upgrade these to level 6, which is the final level. To do that, we need VR edutainment. Now, VR entertainment needs a couple of things. Let's take a look at it. The VR edutainment facility. right here it requires neural processors microchips which we're already making and holo displays holo displays are made in a holo display factory I assume yes and they require iridium ore nanotubes and sand so we're gonna have to build a production line for these near iridium ore so what I'm thinking about doing is iridium ore is located on top of the volcano here so I think what we'll do is do another train loop, similar to how we did this one, how it loops around and goes in circles. I'm going to build another train loop that ties into this line right here and goes around here and loops around. So we'll have access to basically everything we need on these two loops. And then I'll tie in a station down here as well so that this loop can deliver directly to this this loop down here instead of having to deliver to this loop to go to this station to go to this to this loop. So we'll have three loops all tied together so that I can get materials from wherever they need it. So the loop has been added. Uh, I put stations in for future use so it's easier than deleting track and trying to add a station to an existing track. I figured I might as well add one on each side just for future needs if we need it. Now my idea here is if if throughput becomes an issue to run tracks parallel and take up some of these extra stations and run tracks parallel so there's two loops going around the same two tracks going around the same loop and put trains on both of them so we can increase throughput. I'm not sure if a station can handle that or not, but if it becomes an issue, we'll find out. Next up will be to add the VR edutainment line, which we're going to do up here by pulling down the iridium ore from here. All right, so here is the VR edutainment factory. I'll go over it with you. I tried to keep the flow of traffic from basically the top of the screen headed down. So we'll start with nanotubes. Nanotubes require carbon, sand, and water, so I put carbon above it. And sand is right up here, so everything's flowing down this way. And water is located right here, three of them. And those down tubes supply the holo display factory, which is right here, as well as sand, which is coming from up top here, and then iridium ore, which is coming from down this road here, and into our brand new cargo gondola. kind of fun looking but uh, just some iridium mines up here nothing crazy feeding the cargo gondola and so that's holo displays made already and then those are getting sent off to the VR entertainment factory which just needs microchips and neural processors. 
I have not set up the training yet for, for that yet because I want to increase my factory size on both of those. So neural processors, I'm basically going to double the size of this as well as microchips. I will add enough microchips to cover double the size of the neural processors. So that's what's next. So in process of doubling this, I've basically created gridlock. I'll unpause it here, but nothing can move. Everything's kind of stuck. It's probably because they're trying to buffer up and everything. Traffic just got stuck in the big circle here. The train station's backed up. Nothing can move. So I'm going to reorganize this so that traffic flows a little nicer because I think this only happened because of the I put so many buildings down at once, but I just wanted to show you before I completely redo this area why we're redoing it because it doesn't look very pretty right now. And I wasn't happy with it to begin with anyway, so let's see what we can do. All right, and here's the new layout. Looks much nicer, much cleaner than it did before, and I'm able to fit much more into this basically the same space. So down here we have some sand mines and some carbon processors on this one lane road here that feed down towards the bottom of the screen. Go up over this road here and into a supply line. This supply line just feeds all the nanotube factories, so it has one lane roads that come off and feed the nanotubes. A little bit below it is just some more water mines and some sand mines that feed into this line as well for the nanotubes. So nanotube supplies then come down this direction, go into the buildings, and the nanotubes are forced to go down this way, which feeds into a supply line for neural processors. So basically sand nanotubes and microchips coming from the station over here feed down into this lane here. One direction on the way back into a neural processor plant and neural processors come down, whoops, sorry about that, and come down, stay underneath the nanotube traffic and head off to the station over here. So much nicer, much cleaner. I'm able to get some good proximity bonuses by doing it this way. You can see 132% right here. These ones down here are operating nearly 150%. They're not working right now, but they're right, right around 150%, so pretty nice. We'll see, I'm sure it's still gonna get backed up, but we'll see how it goes. Next up is to add some more microchips to the microchip factory. And then finally, just add some trains to the line on the other loop over there to see if it all works out as planned. All right, so lots of extra microchip factories. Next up is just to add trains, create a train line and add trains to the line to see if everything flows as according to plan. Be interesting to see what path it takes because there's now multiple pathways this stuff could take to get there. So hopefully it chooses the most efficient route, but we shall see. So let's create a train route real quick. We'll name it later, but let's see we'll have it start here, go to here, go to here, go to here. So that should do it there, and all we got to do is add some trains to the line. The minute I add trains to the line, there should be an outpouring of neural processors going over to the Holo Display Factory. Let's check it out and see. Start with six trains on there. Up in here come all the blue ones. Headed to the station now. So they're going to head over to the Holo Display Factory. It's taking some time to get there because it's got to go around the loop, but once this starts flowing, should be on a regular basis. And that should actually get VR Edutainment made up here, which will hop on the train line and come back down to go around the train like that, down to here, hopefully down to this station, where this station will pick it up and deliver it to the town. So hopefully that all works out. Here comes our first train up here. Coming to the station to pick up the neural processors, which is going to be 
over about 400 of them sitting here right now, so that's pretty good. Let's let them pick those up. Train goes to go from empty to full. There it is, it's all full of cargo. 400 on there, 399, but it's going to stop at each station. But it'll eventually get up to. And here it is delivering the neural processors to the VR edutainment facilities. Very nice. Now we should have VR edutainment being created pretty soon. It's also bringing microchips once the next train comes around. Because these are all VR edutainment bound. So there you go, microchips and now nanotubes or neural processors have been delivered. And our first VR edutainment should be coming out. There it goes, and it's headed off to the station. And that should upgrade our houses to the last level. So he's going to deliver them down here. Sixteen here. And now they're gone, so they're probably sitting in the station here, which they are. And they're just waiting for a train to come by, pick them up, and deliver them to the city. And here comes the next train already. So he should pick up the 16 VR entertainment, yep, and he'll deliver them to the city. Good deal. Everything works like it should. And just like that, we have our first level six luxury residential high rise. Looks pretty nice. You can see there's nothing more that it demands anymore. It's fully upgraded. And if we check our production overview real quick, we can see the town's going to require, it's this purple one right here. We're making 190. We're only requesting 30 right now, so we've got plenty of room to grow. It's a good deal. That should increase our population and upgrade all our habitats to level 6. Okay, so that'll do it for this episode. We got to a population of nearly 4,000. In the background, they've been doing the research for the blue, green, and yellow research. They've basically completed all that there is to complete. There's one left here, industrial robots. But so next episode, we will work on doing red science and finishing off the tech tree. Maybe start some terraforming projects and expand our city so that we have population to work with. Thanks for watching.